Hello and welcome to the next episode of Metroid Prime. And last time we left off, uh, we had a lab to explore. So, uh, yes, we're going back into the labs and uh, seeing what's there. It's quite a big area. Uh, ignore that dorm for now, uh, that's for later. And we come right out into this snowy vista. Yeah, top off my missiles. We've got 70 so far, we're doing fine. And this door's underpowered, and I don't know why I'm trying to open it again. Yeah. It's probably because it's been like a week since I last played the game, and I forgot what I'm doing. But, oh well. Uh, that, at the point of uh, recording this, so uh, yeah. Let's go through the door. Don't worry, the space pirate ambush is gone from here, so we'll be safe. That's the map room, we've been in there. There's a lot of lore in this area as well, especially space pirate lore. So there's quite a few things to scan. There's a walkway up there, let's, uh, there's it. Way up. There's a turret. Still your standard turret. They do get upgraded later on. That's why I keep checking. I don't know when you upgrade books. Yeah, we've been really messes the book. I think I didn't scan this guy. Good job, bad check. Sometimes. Yeah, so. Yeah, only electrical weapons like the way of being can damage it. I like how the speed of get drawn to you when you charge the way of being though. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, deactivate this uh, field and gain entry. And we've got pirate data. This is uh, a report about their mining operations and uh, based on yields have increased. And they want to streamline the uh, mining process and an illness has uh, started to happen on phase on madness. So they need better life support systems. Amazon's pretty nasty stuff. And the pirates think, let's weaponize that. Cost of their dicks. Yes, you know. Yeah, right, these are just regular space pirates. They are different brands of space pirates. I, I like the charge wave beam shots on the sick bus. We'll have an even better way of sorting them out later. Uh, life signs, eh? Empty stasis tanks. Yeah, they're definitely up to some uh, nasty here. Let's turn on that lift. And then the fit, fusing phase on it. Oh, what's this one about? Um, terraforming and retrofitting areas. Yeah, so they're like changing the local areas to suit their needs. So, and the creature infestations are getting in, not through doors but from tunnels. And they're trying to deal with that. They the plug tunnels up when they can, but it's likely they can uh, ever achieve extermination. And there's another one here. Uh, this is on about phase one as a newfound energy source. They've got very little reliable data on it. The, 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 all the noise it came from a meteor. And it mutates organic life. Organic life to suit its needs. Making vicious uh, evolutions in the. Uh, Single generation, so that stuff is pretty damn nasty. And 
that's just more organs. Seismic activities, um, that ain't good. The bathing in this stuff? Pirates are crazy. And, uh, yeah, this is about the test they've been doing on them little parasites we've been seeing. Uh, like that queen we fought at the beginning uh, of the parasites. The phasons are mutating it, making it faster, stronger, and more aggressive. More deadly. And I uh, want to transport this creature to other planets. But uh, there's a 100% extinction rate after the fourth infusion of Phazon. This stuff's quite deadly. I can shatter these here with a missile. In one of them, there's a hidden prize. Find it. Ah, uh, it's not in them. Ah, uh, ice beetle infestations. Yeah, they've been burying it. It's just like the beetles we find the chores or of ruins, but um, ice type. Uh, and they've been having temperature regulation issues. Right, let's move on. Yeah, there, there is quite a lot of it here. Yeah. Can't scan that from there. Too close. That's a good one. quite get yet. And moving stuff between labs. Ooh, we got an actual law. Mm. Yeah, so the housing Metroids here, due to the cold temperatures, which make them sluggish, because as you know, Metroids do not like the cold and they've been moved into quarantine caves as well. I think um, they plan on using Metroids in some sort of phase on experiments. Yeah, they, are, they have uh, no issue in experimenting on living creatures. Even their own. Yeah, the space pirates are pretty messed up. Yeah, we can't go out against this just yet, but soon we'll be finding an upgrade to get from that. Some of there. Yeah, that's uh, all the bits of data in here. Uh, let's move on. Yeah, just double checking. 
There's another turret. Yeah, there's still another there. Turrets eliminated. Ah, more pirates. Yeah, that first charge stops so us and we can with uh, regular shots. Six stops all work. turned on that device an astronomical hologram projector I wonder if this place is a planetarium <laughs> yeah so uh, let's go turn this place on and see what we can learn our oh, graphics in lockdown eh Another data. The phase on mining is underway and they've established a garrison and terraforming the Chozo ruins soon. I can skip that a bit. And this is an optical location for our research headquarters. Alright. Expect everything to be within a different cycle. I don't know how long that is. Maybe a month, maybe a year. Depends how fast they work. Well, that's turned on that slot there. Right, let's go uh, power this slot up. Get some cool music. Ooh, set thumpers off. That's turned that one on. So, um, yay. Let's uh, get this place active. Same way we get the spinners online. And I jumped too early. And I jumped way too early. But luckily you can just jump back up that way. I don't know why I went down the long way. It's probably because I was over at that other switch. Alright, let's activate this and um, get everything going. Spinners are on. Now let's go uh, charge them up with some kinetic energy. I wonder why I'm stuck there. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it pulls down these devices. But if you wait too long, they will lock back in place. Um, so you can make sure you get them locked into the bottom position. I 
I really like that it does use your bed in that song puzzles and that. It's pretty cool. It does like turn switches on and makes it part of the universe, I, I suppose. up there. Nice. But we also can take an opportunity to learn something about the planets in this system. That's uh, that's best known for Twin Fever. Uh, not a nice place to go. It gives you Twin Sight and that fades with the dead death. What's this? Planet Zebus. Wow, that's one dense planet. Ideal for subterranean construction. A very inhospitable world. Yeah, that planet has super high gravity. Ooh, lots of viruses on that one, stay away. Ah, that's the mask. Alright, so this is showing the Zebis system. Inhabited wasteland by nuclear dust storms. Yeah, none of these planets seem particularly uh, nice. It's this one. Ah! Talon is in the same system as Zibis. Wow. Ah, it's... Oh, the planet's dying. That ain't good. So we better deal with this Phazon problem before the planet completely dies. So the Phazon's basically sucking the life out of it. Which isn't nice for the poor planet. And the places we've seen look pretty uh, pristine and nice. It's just gonna deteriorate. But first uh, let's collect our prize for turning this place off. Well, not like the regular ones, these are a little bit different. Require the charge beam and. Well, the, the power beam and the charge beam and five missiles. A lot different from the ones we had. And I'm gonna call that an episode. Yeah, we made a bit of progress, found a new upgrade, and we'll continue on through these labs uh, next time after scanning these. Yeah, someone just complaining. Okay, have a good day everyone. Goodbye!